Okay, what would make a good refrigerant? I'm going to come up with a few properties I think a refrigerant should have uh, <clears throat> to be the best we could use. This is not an engineer's design. This is from a serviceman's tech or a service tech's uh, point of view. So I want a refrigerant that, let's say it that works well in the temperatures we live in, you know, from say zero degrees Fahrenheit to 100, and, well, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, this is the refrigerant I want to work in these temperatures that doesn't have pressures that are excessively high or excessively low. So I want my refrigerant and this is for air conditioning. I'm going to boil at 40 degrees at 10 PSIG. Okay. And it's going to condense at 120 degrees at 20 pounds PSIG. So the compressor only has to pump 10 pounds. Okay, that makes it easy to pump. I don't have to have a lot of compressor to uh, make this thing work. Okay, what else? I want it to be a lubricant when it's a liquid. A high quality lubricant. So that it, it and it also has to be able to mix with other oils. So when uh, this refrigerant comes as a liquid into the compressor, it would not damage the compressor. So, I'd like it to be a lubricant. Uh, I want its latent heat of vaporization to be about a thousand BTUs per pound. So, for every pound that I evaporate, it will absorb a thousand BTUs. I would like it to have that. Next, it cannot be flammable. And it cannot be toxic. It should have no danger at all. Okay. It should also be of some type of compound or element that is already in our environment and would cause no harm if it was dumped loose in the environment. Say nitrogen. Nitrogen would not harm the environment. We can't use nitrogen. It's got way too many other things against it. But it would be something like that. Another thing I want it to do, when it changes from a liquid to a gas, I want its volume not to get a lot higher. Normally, if I take a liquid and I boil it to a gas, then it, there's a lot more... Uh, space that it takes up. So it has to have more compressor, a larger compressor. So I want one that say, if I took it from a liquid and went to a gas, it got three times the volume that it had as a liquid. That would mean my compressor pumping ability would be very low. Okay, these are all things I'd like to see in a refrigerator. There is no such refrigerant, I'll call this Refrigerant X. Uh, there's nothing that does that. But, I'm going to look at a few refrigerants in the next videos that talk about the ones that are, exist out there now, have existed in the past, that may fulfill some of these things. And see why we use them and why we don't. So, until the next one, that's it.